In this video, I'll explain how to find the rule of a square root function when one of the vertex coordinates is unknown. To do so, the coordinates of two other points must be given. Let me walk you through the process. We need to find the rule of a square root function that has its vertex at point 3k and that passes through the points 4, 9, and 7, 14. First, let's replace h with 3. Right now, we can't replace k with its value since we don't know what it is. Next, let's determine the sine of parameter b. Since the points 4, 9, and 7, 14 are located to the right of the vertex, parameter b is positive. We still don't know the values of k or a, so we need to solve a two-variable system of equations formed using the two given points. We need to make as many equations as unknowns when trying to find the values of these unknowns. We'll start by creating the first equation by replacing x and f of x with the coordinates of the first point. This gives 9 equals a, square root of 4 minus 3 plus k. 4 minus 3 is 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. So the first equation becomes 9 equals a plus k. Next, we'll do the same thing to form the second equation using the point 7, 14. This gives 14 equals a, square root of 7 minus 3 plus k. 7 minus 3 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So the second equation is 14 equals 2a plus k. To solve a system of equations, we need to choose the most appropriate method from the following options. The comparison method, substitution method, or elimination method. In this example, we're using the substitution method, but another method could have been chosen. When using the substitution method, one variable must be isolated in one of the two equations. Let's isolate k in the first equation. Subtracting a from both sides of the equation gives 9 minus a equals k. Once this variable is isolated, replace its value in the second equation. The equation 14 equals 2a plus k becomes 14 equals 2a plus 9 minus a. 2a minus a is a, so we get 14 equals a plus 9. By isolating a, we find the answer to be 5 equals a. Note that the value of parameter a is positive, which is consistent with the fact that the points 4, 9, and 7, 14 are above the vertex. The only thing left to do is to find the value of k. To do this, we must go back to the equation 9 minus a equals k and replace a with 5. This gives 4 equals k. So the rule for the function is f of x equals 5 square root of x minus 3 plus 4. Hopefully this video has helped you better understand how to find the rule of a square root function when one of the vertex coordinates is unknown.